Hey, what's up everybody? It's Coach Matt over here at Primal Athlete Training Center. Wanted to take the time and make a little video for you guys today to talk about one of my favorite subjects, and that is the environment. Now I know what you're saying, the environment, what the heck does that have to do with training? What does it have to do with becoming a better athlete? The type of environment I'm talking about is your training environment. Now, for most of my athletes that are here, they're sophomores, juniors, seniors in high school, they're going to be going on to college. They're going to be getting flyers in the mail from colleges from all over the country talking about their learning environment. What does that mean? Learning environment, they're talking about having a really small class size, offering a lot of different majors, having a good student to teacher ratio where there's one teacher to a small amount of students. They're talking about really good food, really beautiful campus, a really nice environment where a student can go and learn and head out into the real world and become a really good person, make some good money. That's what they mean by a learning environment. Okay, now you're out of school, now you're out of college, and you're in the working world. You're looking for a job, you're looking for a job with a good work environment. Now what's a good work environment mean? Well, if you go into your job, you get your job, you go in, and the place is a mess. Okay? The walls haven't been painted in 10 years. Uh, the laptop that they give you to work on crashes every other day. It's 10 years old. The software is outdated. Your boss is a jerk. Your coworkers are they're all angry, they're all mean, and you don't like to go into work in the morning. That is a bad working environment. Good working environment would be if your coworkers were all about the same age as you. You guys had the same interests. You had some type of a profit sharing plan where the harder that you worked, the more money you made. Your boss is really nice. Your ability to work up the ladder and become a manager, or become a boss yourself, is there for you. That's a good work environment. Okay. So what do I mean when I say a training environment? Well, a training environment, just like a learning environment and just like a work environment, a training environment is where you go to work out, does it fit your needs? Is it a right fit for you? Is it the right place for you to be training? I gotta be honest with you, if you're watching this video right now, you probably are not currently training in a good training environment. What makes a good training environment? Well, number one, you've gotta have the right tools for the job. Looking around the gym here, we have every right tool for you to use. We've got heavy dumbbells and light dumbbells. We've got heavy kettlebells and light kettlebells. Okay, we've got power racks, pull-up bars, a lot of body weight training areas. We've got strongman equipment. We have exactly what it takes for you to become a better athlete with no extra fluff thrown in. What else makes a good training environment? How about the music? How many of you go to a big chain gym and all you hear all day long on the stereo is soft rock, uh, Taylor Swift, holiday songs right now that we're around Christmas, that's not good for you to work out to. If you want to be an aggressive athlete, if you want to lift heavy weights, if you want to have the dreams and you have the goals of becoming state champ or being New England champ or getting a college scholarship, working out to Taylor Swift, Britney Spears, not going to do it for you. You need to have a good place. Here we allow our kids to bring in their own iPods and play their own music. I've got my own iPod that we play. Yeah, maybe some Journey will sneak its way in there. Kids will listen to it. We allow a little, little bit of journey, a little bit of Boston here. All right. What else makes a really good training environment for your athletes? How about other athletes that are around their age that are all working toward the same goal? There's nothing worse. And believe me, I was that kid growing up in high school and growing up in college. And we're going into a big chain gym, going into one of the big box gyms, and you're the strongest guy in there and you're 18, 19 years old. You're surrounded by a bunch of 40 and 50 year old dudes and a bunch of 20 and 30 year old girls that are only there to look better, to lose five pounds, lose 10 pounds, and to be social with each other. Guys that just go and walk on a treadmill for an hour and think that's a workout. It's not a good training environment. That's not gonna push you. That's not gonna pump you up. If you're the strongest person in your gym, if you're the strongest person in your high school weight room and there's nobody there to push you, it's not going to happen. If you don't surround yourself with like-minded people, if you don't surround yourself with people who want to excel and who want to make it to that next level, what's going to push you? Okay, If you're pushing everybody else on your team, what's going to push you? Ask yourself that question. 
What else makes a really good training environment? Well, how about having a program? How about having a coach? And how about having a trainer who's passionate about what he does, who loves what he does, and who enjoys coming into work every day and helping athletes get to that next level? Do you have that at your gym? You probably don't. And it's sorry to say, whether you work out in your high school weight room, whether you work out in the big box gym, whether you work out alone in your home just using dumbbells, you are not working out in the proper training environment. If you want to excel, and if you want to make it to the next level, if you want to get that college scholarship, if you want to become all state, you need to find a place like Primal that is going to have the right environment for you to train in. Kids who are going to push you to become better. A passionate trainer that knows his stuff and is going to get you to that level. The right equipment, the right music, and the right commitment. If you don't have either of those, you're training in the wrong spot. If you don't think that's important, we don't want you here. If you think that you need that, if you want to make it to that next level, you need to come check us out. All right, thank you for visiting the website. Please give us a call or an email. We'll certainly be able to get you in here. We'll certainly be able to get you to that next level. We're going to get you stronger. We're going to get you faster. We're going to get you more explosive. And we're going to get you to that state level. We're going to get you that college scholarship. And we are going to get you to that next level. Check us out, primalatc.com. Or you can email me. I'm the owner. I'm the head strength coach. My name is Matt Ellis. Please come in and take a tour.